Today's episode is brought to you by the actual plot. Yeah, I know, I'm scared too. We're in uncharted waters here. Yes! I did that right! 20 takes and I did it right! Well, that was annoying. Not the last episode, that was annoying, but uh, <laughs> here's a fun fact. See, we have this, and that just tells me it's uh, Benjamin Bates. However, it doesn't actually trigger until you do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I got that. Yeah, I also leveled up and put it into pickpocket because that I seem to be doing that a lot. Alright, but while we're here... I don't know if that's important or not. Uh, I reckon that's where I have to steal the thing from. So... Okay, you're kind of an asshole. Oh. You don't have the key. Oh. Thank you. So what do you have to do here again? From their mausoleum. Okay, so I bet that looks like a mausoleum. Uh... I've seen it poorly, but... <laughs> I can't help but notice that the door is still locked, Virgil. Thank you, Virgil. <sighs> Why don't you have the key? Alright, let's... anyway. I'll figure you out later. <laughs> I kind of assumed it would be as simple as just... I was rather hoping for funny, like tombstones. On. I was, yeah, and I was also hoping that it would just be as simple as, hey, I can just pickpocket the guard like I have done every other time. Uh, may I ask a question? I must be off. You were no help to me at all. Uh, um, what can you tell me about it? Cedric Appleby. Hey! Uh, why is that? Where does this Appleby from? Thank you for your time, good sir. You have given me an inn. Ah, and this would be the Gentleman's Club. Okay. Uh, Gurren Rock Harrow. Any news? Uh, okay. You are entirely. Okay, so you're entirely useless. All of you. Uh, 
Damn it. None of you, none of you can actually help me. That's annoying. Uh, we're gonna pull it to now. Uh, so we want Low Dovich Road. And Lion Heads Way. So that probably is at the back. So if I remember, I should have factory district, I reckon. If I. <laughs> A brief names of all the times I've gone through. He sent. Okay. He sent. Oh. A thought just occurred to me. Maybe someone at the university has. Because, you know, it's a mausoleum and a. I'm presuming a historical record. Uh. Not record, a uh, artifact. Maybe someone at the university has a key. I'll look into that later. Right now, let's actually do some goddamn plot. Uh, sealed. There is Low Devish Road. Now we're at the end. God! University. Uh, why aren't any of these like question marks? Here we go. With this. That's none of this is helping. None of this is. You're all entirely useless. Well, I'm useless, but that's beside the point. Let's go down here. Ah, low dervish. Okay, hey, here we go. And is this okay? So this must be his factory. Oh. Applebee residence. I'm not. Let's talk to this man. Ah, let's suck up to the man. Yeah, we're lying out. Okay. Alright. Oh, he gave me dynamite as well. That's uh, never a good idea. In older way. I wonder if I can just... Let's see if I can't cut the knot here. And merely... He hasn't noticed me yet. Still hasn't noticed me. That'll do. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, no, wait, let's save before I push my lock. do this mission anyway because I kind of like I I just had the um the thought as to why he has that in his um all those things in his inventory Wait. 
<laughs> Still cheaper. Okay, there are a bunch of orcs here. I don't know why. Uh, it's the closest one to his house, he said. Ah, there's always a side entrance, which is locked in this case, but maybe there's a back, a, a locked back entrance. Aha, there's what I'm looking for. Excuse me, my good man. Very well. You now have the skill. Why don't you have the key? Why do not... Uh, you should have the key. This is how it goes. I pickpocket you. You have the key I need, and then I sneak in. Fine, you're gonna have the key, aren't you? Why is this guy patrolling this so much? Um, how the sweet fuck do I get into here? Um, I think I'm just gonna have to shoot my way in. This is gonna suck. Samurai were attacking such a decent type. I won't do this for much longer. How did you dodge a bullet? Is this going to turn into like a whole town thing? Is that what's going on right now? Like. Why is the game just fucked up? I died anyway, so. Alright, so we can't shoot out. You know what? Screw this. I'm just heading to the apple. <laughs> What's this? Is this the orc place again? This is indeed the orc place again. Uh... Take my leave of you, good sir. I said good day. Please, I have what I need. Try to hire me. I'm gonna 
gets them unlocked. Right. Cedric Appleby has hired me to um rob baits, to blow up baits. Now I'm, uh, <laughs> this is just. You see, I wanted to just skip the whole ten. Uh, I hate this so much. <sighs> okay, first off, let's uh, take a healing poultice. Oh, son of a! Uh, one of these things doesn't look like the other, which makes you the mage! Wow, bitch has a high dodge. I don't approve of this at all. It's because I'm too tech, isn't it? Okay, fine. Well, then let's go low tech. Well, I think. Okay, let's just shoot this asshole. And then use another one on him. Let's just gangland murder these guys. Tigre store, do I? Uh, I do not. Okay. Well, let's take the dagger. Can't take my jacket. Uh, it's a rusty hammer. It's probably not as good as Magnus's. All right, let's advance time to morning. Hey, buddy! Take a nice nap? Gentlemen, you're terrible at your jobs. It was free people. Uh, come on. 
Like, well, I like this game. Like, I'm enjoying myself. Just sometimes this game is just little things. people, I just don't see them. Man servant, man servant. You look like a man worth talking to. Hello Over. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Gilbert Bates, as I'm sure you have surmised. I'd like to extend my thanks to you, sir, for putting an end to the difficulties at my factory. I've been informed that there is a matter you wish to discuss. Yes. I'm here to kill you. Not Great really. gods! How did you come by that ring? Uh, a strange-looking gnome gave it to me as he lay down. Strange? Up. Whatever do you mean, pray tell? But his was strong. Are you sure it wasn't a dwarf, then? Oh, be it. We'd say that's where it's been cut out. Yes, I, I am familiar with the dwarves and their customs. Tell me, was there anything distinctive about this fellow? Yeah, the Scarabrew. Why, Alberic, I knew it in my heart. That was no gnome. It was Stenar Rockcutter. Stenar was an old friend of mine. But for him to cut off his beard, by the gods, it's unthinkable. Please, tell me, did he say anything to you before he died? Did he say uh, anything about... about me? What was that hesitation about? Also, can I just point out, I wonder how this conversation would go if I wasn't a dwarf and didn't know about that stuff. The evil? What evil? And where did he escape from? No idea. Something horrible must have happened after I... Did it? I do not know. Even though dwarves reckon time differently than humans, he must have realized that I am now an old man. Perhaps it is because I was but a boy when I... when I betrayed his trust all those years ago. What? That... that is quite the long tale. A tale of my shame, it is. It is right. ironic that my greatest mistake is that which brought me such wealth. As a youth, I was enamored of all things dwarven. So I sought out the nearest clan and attempted to impress them with my grasp of their technology. They laughed. It was obviously a novelty to them, a ridiculous human who had a natural bent towards technology. I suppose it didn't help that I was a mere 14 years old at the time. I became something they humored to entertain themselves. Stenar was the only one who truly called me friend in all those years. And betrayal is how I repaid his friendship. It was he who first showed me their steam engine as he knew I could appreciate the beautiful intricacies of its design. They had left it to rust in a corner as they had very little use for a device that would reduce the need for sheer physical power. Imagine a dwarf relying on a device to do his digging for him. It's preposterous. I asked him if I could tinker with it, perhaps improve on it, as I knew this was the key to becoming truly a part of the dwarven world. I quickly devised a way to use it to power a pump for draining the mine. Well, that's actually not bad. When I fell all over myself trying to explain it to them. Laughter was, once again, their only response. I knew I had to somehow gain their respect. So I hastily sketched some schematics and set out okay. to the struggling human mining company that I brought the plans to 
offered me a share in their mines for the steam pump. I was ecstatic. I had not a care for their mines or their money. I desired vindication. When I returned to the dwarves to boast of my accomplishments and be welcomed into their clan, they were gone. The inventions came quickly after that, fueled by my anger and confusion. Oh, hold on. We know a dwarf of a missing clan, don't we? How could they have denied me my place amongst them after all my labors? Somehow I felt I could still prove myself to them. I continued searching for them in all my spare moments, but to no avail. But then they came. The robed ones. The robed ones? They appeared to me late one night, and they warned me to never speak of, nor try to find the dwarves again. Still being a mere lad, you can imagine the terror that put into me. As my wealth and power grew, hmm. I shook off some of my youthful fear, and hired the first in a long chain of investigators to locate Stenar and his clan. Okay. None of them ever returned hey. with any worthwhile information, and some never returned at all. The ones that did told of vicious traps and creatures attacking them from the shadows. As word of these what failures it? spread, it became more and more difficult to find souls brave enough to take on the challenge. Why did he send me here? You knew that ring would lend veracity to your tale. I gave Stenner that ring the last time I saw him. Now he is dead. If only we knew what he meant by the evil. I don't put much stock in religious ramblings uh, myself. Okay. But if you feel it could help you to get more information on the Panari, you should go to their temple on the northern end of Lion's Head Circle. I'm more concerned with who killed Stenner and why, and what all this has to do with my relationship with the Black Mountain Clan. Uh, so to be done there now. must be some clue left in the Black Mountain Mines. I am certain of this. You seem to be a resourceful individual. Would you be interested? Uh, of course. <clears throat> what do you wish to... I have never actually claimed that I did. It was just people's assumption. Okay. I have invented any number of devices, such as the enthusiasm, or perhaps the <sighs> impetuousness of youth, that I did not stop. To consider that... Yes, it is. Of course. Um, what do you wish to ask of me? Yes, There's not it's much, it's really. As Chucker is given to overzealousness in his protection of my person. He rendered the interloper lifeless before I could question him. Oh, All he had on his per head, they were the religious up. order of assassins some 500 years ago. Rumors of their continued existence surface periodically. Let us hope for both our sakes that they are mere pretenders to the name, then. I would be loath to... Yeah, do I do not this? know, but I am beginning to believe they are behind Stenner's death. This all seems to be pointing to my involvement with the... Yes, it would seem I am well protected here. However, the more staff one has, yeah. the easier it is for one of them to be bribed or replaced with an assassin. Of course. What do you wish to ask it? Splendid. Here, let me mark your map with the location of the black... Oh, uh, one more thing. I would like to purchase my ring back from you. I'd give you 200 coins. Certainly. Much obliged. I will speak with you when you... Okay. We actually have a proper cause of action now. This is probably the first time of his entire series. Alright, so, we've got the clans, Nari, we have to steal those skulls from the... We actually have some courses of action. That's all next time.